ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another review as today I am here to review Midsommar, Midsummer, Midsommar, whatever you like to call it. Uh, but it's directed by Ari Aster and it stars Florence Pugh and it's about... A couple travels to Sweden to visit a rural hometown's fabled Midsummer Festival. What begins as an idyllic retreat quickly devolves into an increasingly violent and bizarre competition at the hands of a cult. Alright, now with all that done and out of the way, Joker, start this review for us. And here we go. Alright, so I missed out on Midsommar when it released in theaters. Uh, I just never got the opportunity to go out and watch it, but I did see Ari Aster's first film, Hereditary, which I thought was fantastic. Definitely one of the best uh, horror films in the last 10 or 20 years or so. And after watching Midsommar, I... Th I barely liked it. Alright, now I first want to talk about the things that I enjoyed about this movie, and the first thing is easily the performances. The performances are brilliant. Florence Pugh gives her best performance in her young career so far. Maybe should have been nominated for an Oscar, I have to look back and see who was nominated, but she was absolutely amazing in the film as well as the supporting cast. And the beginning of the film is shocking absolutely shocking it's surprising it feels a lot like that one moment in hereditary that involves a car the beginning of this film is i, I mean it, it's brilliant but very shocking and where they shot this movie was absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful i don't know where exactly they shot it i mean maybe they shot the movie where it takes place which i kind of forgot where it took place to be honest with you but yeah the the cinematography every just the, the cinematography, the location, just beautiful. Absolutely stupendous. And there's surprisingly some good comedy in this movie, I'm not going to lie. Uh, mainly coming from Will Poulter's character, um, who I enjoy seeing pop up in movies. And this is also a very creepy movie. This is a very creepy movie. I did have, it did have me jump a couple times uh, during the film, one moment in particular that I remember. But this is a very creepy movie, which leads into my next point uh, that leads me into why I'm kind of in the middle of the road with this film. Again, I am more on the side of I liked this movie, but the reason why I'm more towards the middle of the road with this film is because this is probably the most disturbing film I have ever seen. And I mean... You look at movies like Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs is a very disturbing movie, uh, but I love that film. But Midsommar, I mean, there's parts where I just fast forwarded the movie because it just felt like I was watching a cult doing violent and nasty things in the movie. I was like, what am I watching? What is what is happening here? Where is this going? I was just fast forwarding. I probably, fa I don't know how many minutes I fast forwarded through, but it just, I was like, ah. I don't, know, I don't know about this. But overall, like I said, the performances were fantastic. There was, surprise, there was surprisingly some uh, solid comedy in this film, mainly by Will Poulter's character. Uh, where they shot the movie was beautiful. The cinematography was really good. It is a creepy movie. It did have me jump a couple times throughout the film. But like I said, this is the most disturbing movie I have ever seen. And it got to the point where I'm just like, I'm just watching Colt doing cult things i'm just gonna fast forward here until this is over and you know then done but uh with that being said tell me down in the comment section below of what you think of midsomar and which one do you think is better midsomar or hereditary and you guys pr probably already know it i'd put hereditary over midsomar again I, I am in the middle of the road but i lean more on the side of i liked it and if you're uh, if you could handle really disturbing things and you like horror movies and you like ari aster then shh Go for it, go for it. But if you can't, and you, you you thought Hereditary was already too disturbing for you in the first place, then this movie is not for you. And with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe because that is very important. You can also follow me at the Kid Critic on Instagram and at Kid Critic on Letterboxd. And as always in every single video, look out for the next video or view. And peace.